Chapter 21 I grabbed my phone. I'll text Dad. I'll warn him. Kelly frowned at me. Like he'll believe you? I'll call him and explain, I said. He'll probably laugh, Jamal said. Or he'll get even angry at us, Kelly added. Dad doesn't believe the dummies are alive, Luke, so he won't believe anything we say about them taking the propane tank. He'll think we put it in the van. He's got to believe, Jamal said. We have to make him believe. I tried to swallow, but my mouth was as dry as cotton. Dad could be killed, I said, my voice cracking on the words. A lot of people could be killed. I have no choice. I have to try to reach him. My hand trembled. I nearly dropped the phone. I brought the phone close to my face and texted Dad. Need to talk to you. Urgent. Then I held the phone up and waited for a reply. And waited. And waited some more. Try calling, Jamal said. I squinted at the screen, found Dad's number, and punched it in. The phone went straight to his voicemail. This is David Harrison. Leave a message. Dad, where are you? I said after the beep. Call us. It's really important. He's probably on the set, Kelly said. Maybe he started filming already. He won't see his phone. He'll be too busy. We have to go there, Jamal said. We have to go to the studio. Maybe we can warn him in time. Don't say maybe, I said. We have no choice. We have to warm in time. How do we get there, Kelly said. We can't walk to Burbank. A taxi, I said. Do you have any money? I have a taxi app on my phone, Jamal said. My parents gave it to me to come home from my child lessons. He pulled out his phone and started typing, calling for a car. It will be here in seven minutes, he said. I was so tense, I was hopping up and down. What do we do for seven minutes? Worry? Kelly answered. Sounds like a plan, I said. Or maybe... I tried Dad's number again. Again, it went straight to voicemail. I texted again. No reply. We waited in the driveway for the car, and the driver pulled up in a red Toyota about ten minutes later. The ride from our house in Hollywood Hills to Dad's studio in Burbank is about half an hour. I usually think it's exciting to drive past the Warner Brothers slot in Disney Studios, but today, everything outside the car window was just a blur. The three of us didn't say a word the whole way there. I kept trying to call Dad, but he didn't answer. We directed the driver to the Horror House Films parking lot. Pull into that driveway, I said. We have to stop at the security booth. I rolled down my window when we pulled up to the little round booth. A guard in a dark blue uniform and cap leaned out. He had long gray hair flung from the cap. He wore thick eyeglasses that glinted in the sun. He must have been new. I'd never seen him before. We need to see David Harrison, I said. He pulled out a long clipboard. Name? Luke Harrison. I'm his son. And that's my sister Kelly and our friend Jamal. He studied the clipboard. My heart was pounding. We're kind of in a hurry, I said. He raised his eyes to me. I don't see your names on the list. I know, I said, feeling panic rise up in my chest. He isn't expecting us, but I told you, he's our dad. He stared at me through the thick eyeglasses. I can't really let anyone in unless their names on the list. That's when I lost it. I'm his son, I screamed. I need to see my dad. Our driver ducked his head. I think my shout startled him. The parking guard checked his clipboard again. He picked up a phone. I will try to reach him, he squared at me. What is your name again? I gritted my teeth. Luke Harrison. He pushed some numbers on his phone and listened. Then he poked his head off the booth again. No one is answering. My throat tightened. You're not going to let us in? Sorry. But I could lose my job. You have to be on the list. But we're just kids, I cried. You have to... He shook his head. I'm sorry. Seriously. I'm real sorry.